Hey, Rollo, Matt Dars, my name is Bear. How you doing? So, it was a pretty damn good result last week. I ended up getting through that there uh, long fit into the cove, returning successfully, even with the antiquarian in tow. Managed to take care of business. And you'd think I'd maybe have learned a little bit of a lesson in taking those sorts of big risks, especially not bringing a healer onto such a task, but... Well, I mean, like, I did learn from that direct lesson, but I didn't really learn from bringing the antiquarian along. Because I'm gonna do it again, but I feel really good about this team. Especially considering the uh, reward at the end of the tunnel here. This is gonna be the Ancestor's Signet Ring. Something that I could definitely see myself using in Darkest Dungeon Mission 2, which is obviously what we're the most concerned about moving forward. I'm probably gonna have to end up using a leper in that lineup, in one of those Darkest Dungeon 2 lineups. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be something like Leper, Houndmaster, Occultist, and uh, I really don't know what the fourth one's gonna be. I, I think it's gotta be a Houndmaster. I think a Leper has to be in there, and the Occultist is basically our only healing option at this point. We'll hopefully have another one soon, but yeah, that's that. So I like the Signet Ring a lot for that lineup, for the Leper in particular, and I think it's something I actually need to go for here, especially considering the Stagecoach, unfortunately, isn't really yielding anything I need in particular. I need another healer, absolutely, and I want to level up both the Grave Robber and the Man-at-Arms as well if I can, so I know I want to get at least these three, but I'm probably going to need at least one more Occultist or Vestal going into the final mission as well. So it's uh, still yet to be determined exactly what we want to do there, but for now, I really do like this goal. I think this is something we should shoot for, so I'm gonna go for it. We got a Crusader up here up front with the Paralyzer's Crest and the Crescendo Box. We got our Highwayman, who is effectively going to be a melee first Highwayman with the Ancestor's Candle and the Ancestor's Pen. The thing we just got last time, uh, actually putting it to use immediately, so that's a pretty good sign. Wicked Slice and the Duelist Advance, though, gonna be primarily what we're looking to use here. And of course, we've got the Synergy with the Antiquarian's Protect Me skill. That's gonna give him an additional 5 dodge on top of the plus 5 he gets from the Evasive Quirk, which is obviously fantastic. And unfortunately, he doesn't have any particular bonus for where we're going. And he also has Misses the Spot, so that sort of sucks, but... He's got a lot of crit modifiers, like the Wicked Slice and the Duelist Advance, of course, have a little bit there. But of course, the plus 5% on the Ancestor's Pen is not to be forgotten, either. So it's looking pretty good there. Vestal rocking some pretty default stuff. The camouflage cloak and the Junia's head. Nothing surprising there. I like it, man. I really think this is going to work just fine. I'm going to try my best to cheese ASAP and as often as possible, too. Because that has been working. I've been going anti-cheese maybe a little bit too often. And I think I need to start doing my damnedest to take advantage of every little advantage that the game presents me with. Now I'm starting to second-guess this again. I I mean, obviously, we would be better suited in certain circumstances going with a replacement to this antiquarian. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm actually starting to wonder whether or not I ought to just do this now, because we could bring out Borchier, and, I mean, the experience obviously doesn't matter. We've got all level sixes here going into this. Maybe I should just play this a little safer. Maybe I should just get this bonus damage, but how much good is it really doing me? The Antiquarian is not useless, man. I mean, like, she's got the Stab, the Blight. She can do some good stuff. In the Ruins in particular, we might need this damage over time. And she assists the Highwayman quite a bit. So she's not... She's not just like an afterthought here. She's a bonus to our resources in addition to our team. So, like, I genuinely believe in her in this role. So I think I can do this. I've checked out the campfire skills as well. We're looking good there. I'm gonna buy all 36 food again because I know how goddamn quickly that can go away. And I'm also gonna bring quite a few torches just because we know the uh, the ancestor's candle and the camouflage cloak are dependent on those to succeed. I'll bring a full stack of holy water just because we uh, already have one. Four shovels, couple of keys, full stack of bandages, probably all we need. Herbs, not so much, but I'll bring two or three just so we can throw them away later. Right? Right. Okay. Cool. Off we go. Uh, yeah, like I was mentioning, I've, I, I'm pretty sure about my DD2 composition at this point. I know the Occultist basically has to be involved in that, and there's a little bit more synergy there, too, if I were to bring in somebody like the Arbalist with the Mark target. The fiends must be driven back, and what better place to be in than the seat of our noble line. All right, I gotta go this way. We gotta clear all room battles here, so unfortunately not as quote-unquote easy. Oh, fuck. 
Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Not as quote-unquote easy as the, uh, the cove mission we went into where we didn't actually have to clear every the single room fight. Struck. A blazing star is born. It'll be a little bit more of a challenge, and I think our stress dealers are still a pretty high priority here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with this, because I think I'll get the duelist advance off more than likely before all of these guys go. We also have the Holy Lance equipped on the Crusader. I've got the point blank shot and the duelist advance, of course, as well on him, but... I've got a little bit of mobility solution... ...packed into this team, so hopefully, uh... ...we won't get caught off guard too much. I think I'm just gonna start off with you. Sounds good to me, and then he'll probably be the target for a couple of these guys. Let me get a stun on you two. That'll do. And let's heal before things get too bad. For our Crusader up front. And there's the big damage to begin with. That is what we're looking for, man. That's what we need from the, uh, from the Highwayman. Basically this entire time is to just unload with that repost. Uh, protect me. We can stack that, I guess. You know, that's really not a terrible idea. That 60% protection would be amazing. But I think the Nervous Stab is probably going to help us out quite a bit more. In fact, we should probably just do this. Get the big damage started on him. We need to hit him for three more. Maybe a Judgment would do that. If only they would target the Vestal at some point here. We're going to have to do some stress healing on him pretty early and pretty often, I think. Ah, hopefully we get this. Ah, damn it! That's unexpected. I hope his accuracy isn't an issue. I've leveled up everything but the, uh... Or no, I think I actually gave him his pistol shot upgrade too, didn't I? Hell yeah, there you go. Okay, that wasn't quite enough, but that is good still. Point blank shot's the only one I didn't upgrade, and that's... The only thing I get from that is five more accuracy, I'm pretty damn sure. So that... That was a questionable one for me. I think I'm gonna group heal here. Also didn't go with, uh... Didn't go with that plus 15% bonus healing, the Terogen's Charm, or whatever the fuck that thing is. I don't feel it's really that good. I don't feel it's worth it. That 15% just doesn't make that much of a difference, in my opinion. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. All right, we're spreading out the damage a little bit here, unfortunately. I'd like to get the stun going again. Let's see if we can do this one. Obviously, three more damage on the royalty would have been nice. Ah, uh, you know what? There we go. We can do that. Or we can just land this again. That's probably good, too. Alright, he's done. Now we can hopefully stress heal a little bit. I sort of just let that bleed go, and I'm kind of okay with that. God damn. That is at 105 accuracy. I'm surprised by this. Ah, uh, his repose wasn't activated anymore. Shit. Ah, uh, do I want to stress heal or do I want to just take this guy out? I think the highwayman's gonna act first, so I can probably take this risk. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Ah, uh, no stun available. I can just stab him, so that'll work just fine. And then... Wicked Slice, unfortunately, can't target anybody then. Oh, bummer. Damn, and that is a lot of stress on our Crusader already. He's probably just gonna have to stress heal the whole time. I gotta heal up all of these guys. Let's go for you. Really not a super exhilarating result to start off with here. I don't like that the uh, Crusader is already stacked on so much. The light, the promise of safety. It's a nice little boon. Hopefully we'll get another stun off, maybe. I can just stab her, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we'll do that. Pistol shot might have been closer to killing her. Oh, okay, well that's not too bad. He can still stress heal even if he gets knocked back. That, oh, that added stress, though. God damn it. Okay, we're still dealing with this, though. Hopefully we can get a stun off, and that way... Oh, hell yeah. We'll stall this out for one more turn. We'll probably be able to heal with the Antiquarian and then the Duelist Advance. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's fine, I guess. Not a big deal. I don't need another bandage, so we'll just start off the stack of these, and there we go. Cool. Okay, a little bit too much stress on the Crusader. Hopefully we'll have a chance to, uh, cheesy heal that in a moment's time. Probably not! You're gonna be the top priority for sure. Oh boy, you have protection as well, and I don't have a means of dealing with protection in this party, unfortunately. I am still gonna do that. So I still think it's a good idea. I can stun you, right? You've got a little bit of a bonus to your stun chance, of course, so hopefully that works out. There we go. I want to kill this guy first. I can deal with the gargoyles. They're not that big of a deal. They're just kind of hard to kill, really. That's all they have going for them. So I don't have to heal yet, which means let's just deal the damage, I guess, or try to deal the damage. And then the Crusader... I might have wanted to let the... 
let the Vestal try to deal that stun, but wow, why are you missing so much? That is weird. God damn it, they landed that stun too. I was gonna say, I might have wanted to let the Vestal try to go for the stun there on the Gargoyle just to give the Crusader the option of getting that bonus damage on the unholy target, but a little too late for that, obviously, and I, uh, man, this is not looking too great. Stun on the Vestal as well, shit, okay, we're gonna be relying on our own stun resistance buffs to get through this shit. Blight stacking is actually gonna be pretty effective against the ghoul, luckily enough, so the Antiquarian has an, an increased roll again. Unfortunately, no use of the repost at all thus far. God damn it. He can Wicked Slice still and uh, hit the ghoul from there, so at least there's that. Hopefully that'll work out pretty well. No stun again, we got the resistance. Oh, come on! Alright, at least you're not extremely critical to our well-being here. There we go. Oh, nice shot! That's what we need. Alright, nearly getting him. That'll hurt. Didn't get to protect me on her either, oh boy. Gotta keep a close eye on our Antiquarian here. Don't want to take too many gambles with that. And let's just, uh... Yeah, the, you know what? The Antiquarian will probably get this. I think I can stress relieve here. She's been moving fast. Moving first almost every time. I think it's worth it to take that chance. Their stuns have been landing pretty damn frequently, though. Alright, there's that. The Blight's gonna be enough. Ah, uh, Point Blank's probably good. Ooh, knockback. Okay, that... I don't know if that actually matters. Great dodge, too. Okay, hell yeah. Now let's keep this up. In Radiance, may we find victory. Even in that circumstance, the only thing he could have done otherwise was smite or do a stunning blow. So the st stress relief is, uh... Still, in my opinion, the best play. And let's do a group heal here, too. That's perfect. Everybody's feeling nice and fresh now. Hell yeah. Uh, Blight will do it. There we go. Do Duelist Advance again. Unless he gets stunned, which is fine. Been dodging fairly well, too. Alright, then. Now we take one more heal along with the Stress Heal, because I don't think... Well, yeah, it's not going to call reinforcements because we have two of them right now. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Let's just go with whoever's got the most at the moment, probably for the best. Managed to reduce quite a bit of stress from this attack, so this is nice. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Pop a couple of food here. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I guess that's an easy choice to make too. Okay. Off to a solid start. Not too much risky business. Ooh, boy. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I'm paying real careful and close attention, though, man. At this point, we got 30 weeks left in this New Game Plus file. I gotta be weir wary of just about every opportunity to, for me to fuck shit up. And, uh, believe you me, I have increased the amount of, uh, research a forefront for each and every As individual run. Purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. I'm looking into what I could be doing, what I shouldn't be doing, what I ought to be doing. A lot of times ignoring that stuff, but still, like, you know, trying. Putting in my best effort to- Ah, what the hell do I want to do here? I think the Emerald's probably worth more than that. Putting in my best effort to not just- Well, okay, it's been pretty much since that fulminating profit fight. Where I was like, okay, man, hold on, you really- you can't afford to be making goofs like that anymore, dude. You've got... You've got an important mission undertaking or er, to be undertaking here. And no more room for silly goofs and gaffs. The jape. The comedy, the walla walla. It's, it's, it's got its place still. Unnerved. Unbalanced. But very... Very few left in here. Alright, you're still top priority, even though the, uh, the sharpshooter damage was a little unsettling there. Let's go ahead and heal that back up. Reliable heals for 11, man. Like, that's the shit that I feel like I'm gonna be missing out on with the occultist runs as soon as we have to start doing that nonsense. Really kind of terrified of making that happen. 
But I think with Junia's head, it's probably going to be a lot more likely that we see successful results, right? Ooh, I want to do that. Yeah! Give them no quarter. Good moves, good moves. Probably safe now, actually, to start stress healing again with our, uh... With our Crusader, because our Highwayman's gonna be able to take care of these front two fairly well. Vayne is almost certainly gonna have to stun- or, uh, to heal quite a bit more. Can I do this, or should I go for numbers a lot earlier on? I think if I can kill you... Ah, fuck. Well, I'm glad I tried at least. Oh, we God! The oh, the tide is turning! The moon is spinning around the earth, causing tidal shifts. Jesus Christ. Do this again? I like that. Keep that going. And uh, try to kill you. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offense. Gotta heal the Crusader. Probably gotta heal the Vestal now as well. And unfortunately, I don't think a group heal is a good option there. And she needs to stay alive first. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Alright, let's try for this one. Now, once we can take you down, I can live with the shield wall. He's not a big issue. Highwayman's gonna be hitting him anyway, so it's not like anything I say or do about that matters. Heal here once, probably twice. Get a stress heal on the Crusader for sure. And then I think I can start stacking Blight on the Sharpshooter, and that's gonna go fairly well. This is one of those circumstances where it might behoove me to replace her, her, uh, small heal with that get down move, I think is what it's called. The one that reduces her, or increases her dodge chance and moves her back one, because we, we could probably use that versatility a little bit in this lineup anyway. I haven't really seen many opportunities for her to use that small heal, so it's... Definitely something I'm considering moving forward, although I don't know if she's got it. She's got it up to three, so it's not that bad, but it could be a lot better, of course. It's a big speed buff, too, which could be... Could be a factor moving forward. We'll take a couple of group heals from this point on. Stress heal, of course, is gonna help out his health as well. I think I'll do one more of those. Actually, not in dire straits anymore, as far as that's concerned, either, for sure. How do we want to deal with this? Leaving these two alive, weirdly enough, is not bad at all. I thought he was going to be a much bigger problem than he is, but maybe just stacking the Antiquarian Blight on him is going to be enough to, uh, allow me to just cheese heal again. So far, so good, for sure. And now we can just, uh, basically bring that down to naught. Eight stress on our Crusader. Bitchin'. That's a good situation. He's dead. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Stress heal. Normal heal. Uh, wicked slice. Point blank shot. Whatever the hell you want to do, man. Do it. Don't have to stack this. I think I might just, uh... I should have done a protect me, really. That would have been a good idea. Ah, oh, boy. How about we just do this? Put my foot in my mouth about that heal immediately. Alrighty. Still gonna stress heal up there. Her death. I think I gotta heal normally as well, even though I'm risking reinforcements here. I doubt it'll happen. In fact, I'm almost positive that we'll just be able to, uh... We'll deal with whatever the fuck he does, and then the Highwayman is almost certainly gonna finish off the deed. Right? Right? Ah, hey, we get another one. Yeah, okay. Foot in, foot in mouth. Foot in mouth, absolutely. Those five hit points, man. You never know what those will do! These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I'm just gonna keep replacing gemstones with more expensive versions of them. Or do that. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. And... A stack of gold's worth more, unfortunately, so you gotta do that. And... I'm gonna go ahead and use a key here. Despite the fact that we have very little inventory space, I just used it within a crusader as well. Yeah, that was stupid. Should have done it with the Antiquarian, that would have been the correct move. Ah, oh, man, I want some of this stuff, though. I'm gonna get rid of this, weirdly enough, get myself a stack of deeds. Those are, those are useful right now, I need some heirlooms. Alright, man. 
There we go. That's a lot of stress. Oh, that's frightening. I don't like this at all. Vestal, stun the witch. Stun the witch. This is maybe okay. Vestal, unfortunately, can't really do shit anymore. That's still useful, luckily, but that's definitely not ideal. Okay, uh, we'll do that. We can do it again. Protect me's nice. Maybe get a skull toss back here, which would be uh, some good damage on the ghoul. I don't really want to stun or cheese or anything here. I just want to start dealing damage in increasing frequency. So, let's do this, actually. Stacking the blight on the ghoul is going to be really good to have starting off. Oh, that could be bad. That's good damage, though. Okay, nine left. He's going to get another duelist advance going, actually. In fact, that's going to reset our repost. Right? Yep, two more rounds there. Uh, stun on you? It's got resistance. Probably not going to happen. Healing's not great, so yeah, let's just do that. And I'm going to do this, actually. That's already way too high. Definitely don't want to get let that get any further on. Even though it is going to happen without me having much to do about it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. That's terrible. Really was relying on him hitting his melee skills throughout the course of this dungeon. Oh, fuck. Okay, we need to start smiting. Yes, yes, we do. That is way too much damage I've left on the table for potential stress heals. God damn. Oh, that sucks. That really blows. He's moving quick, too. I thought this would be a lot better than it has been. 12 per turn is still pretty damn good. If I can hit before he does... Nope. Oh, if the Protect Me was activated, that would have been great! For the slightest lapse in concentration. That has a stun?! Jesus Christ! Okay, well, the Highwayman's definitely gonna get something off here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and help her out a little bit. Jesus! There we go. Alright, he's dead. Probably gonna act first as well. Uh, I don't want to kill him, but... Fuck! I'm just gonna move. Alright, whatever. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Two emeralds! Oh, god damn it! It's too much shit! I gotta go camp. I have to camp right now. I should back up and camp. This is bad. This is... This is like quick resolve check territory, and I shouldn't have used that torch either, but fuck it. I need the space. Probably. Alrighty. Not looking great. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. I know I have a lot of, uh... Stress relief options, though. Zealous speech. Chief among them. Quite good. Stand tall. Not necessary. I got myself Unparalleled Finesse here as well. And that is a, an accuracy buff to melee skills, which is pretty goddamn good at the moment. I might do this... Oh, Gallows Humor is pretty good, though. Fuck, there's so many good things. I could just do all three of his and I could feel really good about it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Nice, great result. Okay. And now hopefully we can do some cheese with the Crusader. He's gonna be a lot more effective now, ideally. Look at this. This is such a good skill for him. Oh, man, that's amazing. These next four battles are going to be great. Hopefully. i get you reset, though, of course. Alright. Gotta go this way still. We know not what lies in store. I should probably go ahead and switch to my Antiquarian again, because I've been doing dumb shit. Not using her properly. There we go. Finally got some inventory space as well. Still got a campfire. Still got 24 food. It's a good amount. I'm fine with these being empty rooms. I mean, I'd feel silly going all the way down here for a madman! Madman! Buff it up. That's what I... That's what I don't need, man. Absolutely could do away with that forever. I cannot afford to inspiring cry here. A stun is not a bad idea, although I might want his repose to hit a lot more frequently. And sort of just accept that they're going to deal some damage to him. Oh, and uh, that too. That's a problem, yeah. Forgot about that. 
Why are they acting first? Oh, I'd really like to take advantage of his repost if I could. 55, not gonna be resisted by this, right? Oh, he's got a ton of dodge chance, though. I forgot about that. You have got to go. It's got to be the madman still, right? No crits. Still dodging it despite his accuracy buff. That sucks. Let's do this. Because there's a chance that everybody's going to miss their attack on him, too. So I suppose I just might as well keep trying to do it. Ah, uh, chance he dies. Nice. Point blank is then uh, much more effective after that. Come on, man! Fuck! Well, there he goes. Come on, Vernon! I have not had a positive resolve check in like 80 years. The close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. I gotta keep that light up, man. I keep forgetting about that. Well, there is the small, small chance we bring this down to zero, so I can't give up on that possibility. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I guess a stun is not a terrible idea. I don't need to heal, do I? The antiquarian could use some assistance, but... Oh my god. I know, I know, everything's terrible. Don't gotta fucking tell me twice. Do I want to do anything but this? Buddy, you gotta let me help you. Please. Oh, man. Well, what if we get, like, a positive antiquarian check? That'd be pretty great. I don't know if I should do this anymore. He's, like, near heart attack status. Might not be a great plan. I'm gonna keep trying to stress heal. We'll see what comes of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, good dodge. All right. Still gonna add... It. Oh, yeah, no. We dodged it, but we added it to the rest of the team. No, that's exactly what I needed. Thanks. Fine with that. A little bit of stress relief, too. Okay. And there we go. Nice! That'll help. Thank you. Is the blight enough? Stab can't reach her. Two plus four. Ah, shit. Man, uh, I guess... We might as well, and then maybe we can stress heal. Real heal. And then she's dead next turn no matter what. Oh, she might have just died from that if he could land anything! Anything at all! God damn, man! Oh, yeah, I know. Alright, well, let's help her out at least. Fine by me. You're already dead. Whatever. Jesus Christ. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. The madman! I thought the stress seals from the Crusader would be enough that it would suffice. I'm feeling like I was mistaken. We are fairly far along at least, and we're not really in any danger of anyone like Di dead dying, you know, so Still a little cautiously optimistic And that's an empty room too, cool Totally didn't have to go here <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little upset about that, N knowing now What we could have avoided There's a lot of ghouls, a lot of really bad stress damage here Feeling kind of shitty about that We've got to deal with this one, obviously, just to get over here, in addition to having to clear the room battle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. At least one hallway battle and one room battle. Already a resolve check. With one more likely on the way. Maybe we'll get a good one from her. I haven't... I feel like I'm due. You know? I feel like I've got one coming. Oh, we could cheese this. Oh, we could cheese the hell out of this. Hold the phone here. This is a brilliant opportunity. The gargoyle definitely stu or, uh, definitely the first thing to take care of. Unfortunately, the vessel got stunned. That's okay. Actually, let us get one off there. That's a great start. Now we... Okay, you're the target. Absolutely. Crusader is only going to stress heal here. God, I'd love to just leave these two alive. I wonder if I'm going to be able to do that. The Highwayman is going to have to hit everything. Clearly. Uh, oh, should I just heal? Or I could do this. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I don't want a super cheese. 
eradicate. And I guess he's not gonna give me the chance. <laughs> I should have expected that, I guess. Okay. He might just kill the gargoyle here, too. Oh, fuck. Yep, that's done. Nothing we can do about that. Hey, another little bit of stress relief, too. And there's another. Every 10 we get is so close to victory. All right, he's almost certainly just gonna murder this thing before we can even do anything about it. Oh, he gave me a choice. I'm gonna do that. Thank you. One more? One more! All right! Hey, we're closing in! I'm gonna see if I can get one more off. We'll protect me here. We're gonna heal on our, uh, Vestal. From our Vestal. Yes, indeed. One more- Oh, he doesn't have repose, though! Great dodge! Maybe the Crusader! Oh my god, just denying us everything, huh? Come on, buddy, let's get a stress seal going. No, don't kill him, don't kill him! What are you gonna do? You're gonna pass. Nice. Another heal? Doesn't really matter. It might punish me for this. It might punish me for this, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's find out. Doesn't seem to have. Alright, cool. Obviously, we've spread out plenty of stress for the rest of our team now. Oh, man. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? You know, I really might want to consider using our second campfire pretty soon here. Oh, cool. Hold on, let's... Let's see what this yields for us. Ah, uh, not too much. Okay, so we know that we got another one coming up, too. Lots of curios. Hey, this is manageable. Oh, nice, and a surprise attack to boot. All right. I think I should go for this. Oh, well, hold on. No, it's still good. Still good. You need to die, clearly. Oh, I don't want to protect him. Or I don't want him to... No, actually, I do want him to protect her. I can avoid a resolve check that way, and even though I'm really close to healing him here... Oh, that is a duelist advance, though, so he gets the repost. That's nice. Now another stun would be good, too. Or a stun, I suppose. I really didn't get any damage off on her, unfortunately. Prevent their stun from landing, ideally. Alright, let's see what we do here. The Highwayman not being able to target her was really unfortunate, but that happened. And then just didn't matter at all. Didn't matter at all. Alright, I need to bandage him. Yep. Yep. God damn it, man. Exposed to a killing blow. How is the How are they dodging everything? Every goddamn attack. Stop it. Dazed, reeling, Thank you. About to break. Oh fuck. Okay, Vestal needs to heal. Um, I think I ought to do this. Right? She needs to go. Like, I am really close. I'm, this is gonna happen. I think I've gotta accept that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice! Good stuff. Heal for sure. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Alright. That resolve is just really fucking me over. No more bleed. Good. Clearly still gonna do that. I think I've got to start just unloading on people. A stun would probably be better, though. Take him out of at least one round. Then get a much better chance for the smite to kill next turn. He's gonna let me take my turn, thank you. You're not gonna let me bandage you? How about you fucking do, huh? How about that? She's dead. Clarified in a single strike. Plenty of crits for us. Hey, didn't you abusive? Cool. All righty. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nice. Oh, fucking hell. Please let me heal you. Please let me heal you in any way I can. How about this? You're really just not going to let me at all? Ah. Uh. Ah! Uh, 
Why? Come on, man. Let me help you. Please. There we go. See, it's not all bad. We're not all terrible people. I'm just gonna bandage. Fuck it. Kill you. There it is. No stress relief, unfortunately. I'm gonna try desperately to, uh... Get back as much as we lost here. I gotta help him what I can help him. And I gotta try to do this. I think. I think. Stun resistance is buffed. Yeah. I'm still holding out hope that maybe that's gonna work. Do I wanna heal again? I sort of just wanna make sure he dies. Oh, good. That was really effective. Yippee! Flash of the tail! Goody! That's enough of that, man. Honestly, that's been way worse than just about everything else we've had to deal with. Just him piling on the stress for us. Hey, there's a good one. He's down to 34. I'd love to eliminate that. Clearly, I don't have much of a say in the matter. That still isn't going to be enough to kill him, so you know what? Fuck it. Maybe the judgment will be what we need. There we go. Singular strike. Hey, not bad. I have three rubies. Holy shit. I don't need this. So let's do that. Swap it off. Got a scout. Holy hell. Oh, no. That's scary. That is terrifying. I gotta camp out again. I gotta get him down to zero. Because I can. I can do that, like, right now. So I think we should. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. And we can use... The Zealous Speech. Reduce stress on our companions even further. That's gonna be not enough. But very close to it. Although, oh man, what can we do to reduce it even further? Nothing, I guess. God damn it, I wish it was enough. It's still really good, though. So we'll take this. He refused it! God damn it, man! Please let me do gallows humor, then. I don't have a way to prevent the ambush if I do that, though. Maybe I should take the ambush. No, that would be terrible. That would be awful. Oh my god. That sucks. What if we did... Zealous Vigil? Is that good enough? I don't want to activate this... Only for him to tell me he didn't do it. Like, that would be a waste. A complete waste. So if I'm gonna prevent the ambush, I think I gotta do this one. I have to prevent the ambush, right? And then, really, the best use of my respite at this point is to attempt to reduce his to zero. Even though we can't. Oh, God, I just realized that. Okay, well... Hey, a torch, cool. Ten. One stress heal. Can we get it off? Please. I'm in desperate need of that to work out. He takes the contents, 250, Finding okay. Stuff is only the first test. Should I try this? Now it must be carried home. Probably worth it, right? Oh, if only he hadn't stacked on with paranoia. There's another trap pretty close by. Hopefully this isn't an actual fight. Because that would mean we could get rid of it via trap. Which would be great. He's trying to prevent me from using torches. Come on, man. Nope, it's a fight, but... Definitely not the worst one we could have seen. I'm gonna go for the stress seal if I get the opportunity, like, right away. I don't want to use protect me necessarily. In fact, I think it's probably a good idea to do this. Start the attack off on the witch. God damn it, man. There it is. Oh, fuck you! No! God. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay. 
Yay. A little bit more for him would have done it. Great dodge. Thank you. Oh, hell yeah. Good stuff. All right. I'm going to stun again for sure. On anybody that'll take it. Very nice. It's not on him, thankfully. All right. Give me a crit. Or a complete miss. Come on. I got to try for the stress heal again. I got to go for it. He got crit. Injury. Palpable. 13 more god damn man the knockback no oh god more dodges I'm happy with that I have got to get rid of that somehow shut the hell up stop talking fuck you're ruining me with your incessant chatter and bobble it's not going to work out, is it? It's just not going to let me do it. This is horrifying. Crit her! Land the attack at least, yes! We need that! No stun, thankfully. She's still alive, she's still stacking it. Oh my god. I can't believe it's not letting me do this. Fuck everything. Fuck you and fuck your whole life. Would you just shut up? Shut the fuck up, Antiquarian! We don't need to hear it! Heals, I guess. Oh, yeah, you'll take that one, huh? Fuck you. Oh, my God. Yeah, do it. Whatever. No crits. Let's get her stunned. Maybe she'll shut up then. Please? Well, there's one. One away. Yet again. And she's done. Please let us cheese this. For fuck's sake. Resisted the stun. Alright, I'm just gonna point blank. I wanna try to stall this out. Um, how about that? Although I kind of wanted to increase his dodge chance. I don't know. I really don't know. Dodges are nice. There it is! Finally! Holy hell, it's gone! Oh, it's dealt with. Now we just got this bullshit. Okay, the highwayman is back. Thank Christ. That was a nightmare. Protect me, please. We can have her protect again. Oh, God. I just need to land these attacks for the... Love of all that is holy, just hit it, thank you. And a stress heal. How about we stress heal the Vestal? How about we prevent this disaster from tallying up any more victims? More and more dodges from the enemy. Ah, uh, time to damage, I guess. Crusader, I think, is still gonna try to heal up. Ah, whatever. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I guess I should use my food for healing. Right? He's at 46 and 33. Let's give him each two. Go like that. Bam. I don't remember what this is, but I know holy water's good on it. Oh, hell yeah. Cool. Okay. Negative quirk removal. I like it. Uh, now we just go for who's got the highest chance, which is still the uh, highwayman, weirdly enough. But I liked 80% enough to risk it. Sweet. That'll help. Gotta remember to keep our... Uh, Torch light up above 75. No books, no books, thank you. Alright. In we go. No fight, please. Please, please. Shit. 95 against 179. I'll take my odds. There we go. You've gotta die. You have got to go. 
I want to protect me, but I... I like the Blight a lot more, honestly. That's not good. They know where we're weak. I think this is stress relief, though. So this could be particularly useful here if I can manage to, uh... Take advantage of it. No stun, unfortunately. Gotta go with that. He's dead. That's exceptional, and the repost is active, which means Protect Me is great for this round. Probably not gonna stun him again, I imagine. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, I was afraid of that. That's, that's the check. Vayne? Can I get one? Can I get one? Please! At least she's willing to heal herself. Holy shit, man. Ah, there's no way I'm cheese healing this, so I've just got to unload. There's nothing I can do against the Bone General, man. That could be bad. 16 damage. Resisted the debuff. Everybody's feeling like shit. Hooray! Let's keep it up. Definitely want to keep that Protect Me activated. There it is. There's the protection. That's what we need. Could send this guy down. Nice. Just, oh, just the one left. Just the one. We can do this. Obviously not just the one fight left, but... Got this guy, and that's one step closer. Dodged the return attack. Didn't get any stuns, though, so that's really nice. I'm still gonna do this. I just like it enough to keep it up. Motherless children? You're not even gonna insult us in a, in a way that makes sense? You asshole. Die. Three more damage. Where are we gonna get it? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ow! I don't even have space for this shit. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. All right, he's okay. I gotta do this, I guess. Right? The crests? Yeah. All right, buddy. Try it out. Hey, that's a pretty damn good result. Okay. Uh... God, I know I've got at least one more fight. We've got enough health to make me feel like I can maybe do it, but the Vestal... ...with that resolve check... ...is a thorn in my fucking side, man. Oh, boy. Oh, cool. Did it work? Oh, God damn! I don't know, man. I don't know. Clearly, we're not going for res or, uh, going yes, for that stress it. relief anymore. It's not exactly something I have the capability of doing. I gotta heal every chance I get, pretty much at this point. Our health, our red health, is like the only thing that I have any semblance of control over at this stage of the game. Rend is 100% what I want him to do every round. Every single time. Just rend, rend, rend. For days. Good dodge. No stuns. Extra paranoia, though. That's good. I'm gonna try to stun him with the Crusader if I can. He's got a decent chance. Yet again, perfect! Despite the Highwayman's incompetence. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, he felt like just fucking everything up for a second. That's cool. Neato, gang. I'll just duel this advance to correct your failures. Oh, boy. Uh, we're still gonna do this, I think. For the extra dodge chance, I suppose. Especially if he gets skull tossed. I'd like to avoid that landing. There's a 50% chance of the repost hitting. We'll heal the Crusader. Nice! 
Hell yeah! Stunning blow again. There we go. Now what do I want to do? Let's just hit him with everything and try to kill. I don't think it's going to be enough. There's the skull toss. Oh god. The stun. Fuck me. Try it again. You resisted it. Every ghoul is just a complete fucking nightmare, man. That was very low chance, but I had to go for it. Ah! Uh... No! You know what? I think I gotta cut my losses here. As much as I don't want to admit it, we're doomed. We are masterfully executed. D O U U M D doomed. Downed. This is way too much stress. There are so many stress dealers in the ruins, it's just. It's an inevitability at this point that someone's gonna have a heart attack. And I'm missing so many fucking attacks. The greater the beast, the greater the glory. I thought we had dealt with the accuracy. I was making an attempt to deal with the accuracy problem by going in here. I thought by acquiring the signet ring we would be addressing that to a degree, but... There is no fucking way I am willing to chance losing someone for that. So, I'll take what I've got. We made a little bit of money, probably came out of it like a net positive of a few thousand. But there's no way we're making it through this. I've got two more at least, and I don't even know what's in here. 133, 130, they're both abusive and irrational, like they're adding stress constantly. I can't do it. I can't do it. You will endure this loss. And learn from it. Ah, this is a precious week, too. Every week is precious now, of course. 14, I mean, that is pretty good. We didn't spend that much to uh, prepare for this one, luckily. It was mostly just provisional costs along with the campfire skill. That's unfortunate. Okay. We got some, we got some work to do. That's a bummer. Strength, purpose, and peace. All can be found in the focused mind. Cool! The veteran sergeant will be demonstrating his training regimen at the guild hall every night for the next week. All those concerned with self-preservation are encouraged to attend. So if we leave our man at arms behind, which we almost certainly will, he'll gain a resolve level. Cool! That's handy. And we didn't find a healer. Fuck! Still no healer, huh? That's... that's pretty shitty. A cultist or Vestal, man, I'll take either one. Okay. I might grab one of these anyway. Although I should wait for a higher resolve level character to show up, but all the same, thank you! For watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon, I apologize that 50 minutes did not result in anything noteworthy, but... <laughs> we tried! We got a lot of uh, recovery to do as well, so... Hopefully it's not too much of a hit. At any rate, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that. I'll see you next time.